She scored once, can she do it? She's going over the line and burned for a double! Kia ora and welcome to this edition of the O2 Inside Line Live. I'm Amy Cocaine. And I'm Hannah Bottomham. We're all settled in now in Auckland and getting ready for the next couple of weeks. Um, thank you so much to everyone joining us on England Rugby's Facebook and YouTube pages. Because of the time difference, we are pre-recording this, um, so it's not live. They're lying to you. It's pre-recorded. Um, but yes, here we are. So then, Hannah, tell us, <laughs> first time in New Zealand, how are you finding it? Um... I, it's not what I was expecting, to be fair. Oh, I don't know what I was yeah, expecting. Yeah, what were you expecting? <laughs> I don't know then? what I was expecting. It's almost like a mini London out there. It's um, I, I feel like it's a bit um, American as well. Oh. Yeah. Why? What makes it American? I don't know. Uh, the like the maybe like the traffic lights and stuff. <laughs> not the traffic lights, but like just the style of like how things are. Got you. It's like I feel like it's a mix between. America and England, like a London. What about the weather? Was that what you were expecting? Well, when we first turned up, I thought it was going to be cracking Roasting. the flags. Yeah, mm. we, we turned up and I packed jumpers and loads of warm clothing. So it said it was going to be rubbish weather. And it was boiling when we walked outside. It didn't last long though. No, it didn't. We no, have now been in it pure, down, pure rain. Rain and wind. Gloom. I think it's meant to snow tomorrow. No, it's not. Yeah. Genuine? Yeah, genuine. Are you having me on? No, being genuine. <laughs> I don't think off. it is meant to snow. I think it's meant to be. We're well, having all four seasons in one day, so you know, might yeah. not have snow in there as well. All right, fine. Amy grew up here, everyone. Um, do you want to tell us a bit about that? Um, I feel like I've had to just remind everyone that I didn't grow up <laughs> in Auckland. Um, so people ask me questions about Auckland. It's a bit there irrelevant. are other places I in New Zealand. I did live six hours <laughs> south of here um, in a very small town called Fielding. So a um, bit different. You may as well ask me about Newcastle because I also <laughs> don't know anything about Newcastle. So, um, But, you know, in terms of helping girls out with... What the local supermarket is <laughs> and the equivalent. So like, you know, your countdowns, your new world, your pack and saves. Yeah. Um, that was kind of information that I felt was needed when we first landed because everyone needed um, to get some treats in, didn't they? Get some chocolate. Yeah. Have you tried much of the local cuisine? Yeah, the local cuisine. I've tried Whitaker's. Mm. Outstanding. What's your favourite? Uh, I've just, I've only tried the, like the, the creamy, the normal uh, milk, the creamy milk one. Not the blondie. I've no, I had a square of the blondie that was mm. from Cow. That was nice. Um, but to be honest, if I eat too much chocolate, Amy, over these next six, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to run at the end yeah. of it. So, um, but yes, I've tried that one. I've tried the peanut slab. Oh yeah, do you that, like that? Mm, wasn't my favourite. Like bit either. sickly. I thought it was gonna be peanut butter, but it was peanuts. No peanuts. Yeah. Um, but yes, Whitaker's. We've been out for quite a, quite a few brunches. We have, haven't we? What about coffees? You're quite a coffee connoisseur. Um, you didn't give it a high rating, though, did you? I I feel like I haven't been to the place that everyone said is good yet. So mm. I don't think. I, but I personally, well, actually, Amano had a good other yeah. coffee shops are available. <laughs> that um, I feel like that that had a good. That I tell you what, it did have a lemon meringue pie that was probably the best one I've ever yeah, had in my I life. Yeah, I did see that. I didn't Jesus, eat it because obviously that was unbelievable. body's a temple, but... That was... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, I looked at it and put on weight. Yeah. Just looking at it, so... <laughs> I did look at an apple put on weight. Um, mm. Yes, but other than that... And uh, we had quite a few light days, didn't we? A bit of cricket in the park. We did, a little bit of cricket Not in as the successful park. for you, was it? Well, I don't know. I think my bowling stats were all right. Yeah, you've been working on your bowling. I have been you? working on my bowling. I, I'm more of a bowler than a, than a batter. I'm terrible at batting. Um, as I hear you're about to see. So, um, yes, enjoy that. Um, well, who bowled me out? It was Ellie Kildan, wasn't it? Yeah, but... Oh, I'm not being funny. She was 20 metres to the right of, of the... I didn't even know it's called. No, but... What's, the, what's that bit called? Wicket. No, not the wicket. The bit that they bowl down. Yeah, the wicket. The whole thing's called a wicket? Yeah. And no, then, as And then it? the stumps are the... Bales are... No, no, no. The the green bit, the pitch. You, that's yeah, the, the pitch. Wick, that's called the wicket. No, it's not, is it? Yeah. Oh, Wow, learn something new every day. Well, she was 20 metres wide of the wicket and bowling at a very funny angle. And also, her arm wasn't straight and it was just a lob at me. The highlight, what was your highlight? Because mine was Connie Powell <laughs> pulling out Deeks. I 
And what made me I can't die really even more myself. was he was he like was before so it, he was like, Connie, be careful because R2 selection. <laughs> and then first ball, middle stump, plum, plum, took it out. He was mad. And Connie has got the most rogue bowling technique. Oh, it's mental. Works so, though. Works. That was the highlight of my trip. Probably, yeah, <laughs> on that day. Very, very. I was like funny. day four, and it was a highlight. Was very, very funny. So yeah, very funny. Here on O2 Inside Line Live, we uh, are hoping to stay as connected as possible to the fans whilst we're out here in New Zealand. Um, and I hear that you guys have got a couple of questions for us, so I believe we're going to answer them now. Hi, Red Roses. Tell us what you've been up to to keep yourself entertained out, out in New Zealand. Thank you, Marcus. Um, thank you for your question. What have we been getting up to? We, there we've, we're lucky that we've got a table tennis table at the moment um, in the hotel, in our team room. You can't so, get bots off it. No, you can't. I'm, a, I'm addicted to it. I think, I reckon I burn two to 300 calories in the evening running around that. I around think that the thing. hotel four blocks away can hear you playing yeah, as well. Yeah, I get so into it. So into it. Um, I actually just previous to this murdered mids on, on the table tennis table. Um, he, he, he asked me. He asked me to play, and I said, Are "You sure? Because you don't. I don't think you want this. Um, <laughs> you can't handle this. <laughs> can't handle this." Um, and then he lost two sets to, to none. Didn't even didn't even get any sets on me. So, yeah, it's that's probably been um, the highlight. What about your tuk tuk? You like tuk tuk? Yeah, don't you? post dinner normally, but a tuk tuk, which is like a card game slash Board frustration. Game. Yeah, um, it's a good little mix. It's good it fun. Is. Good it fun. Is. Like paired work as well, so you work with a yeah, partner. Yeah, teamwork, we're building that cohesive mm. within the team. Yeah. And then just probably just the classics, going out for coffee. Some of the girls went in to waterfalls, at waterfalls and stuff Chucked like that. it down though. Yeah, it wasn't a bit of a Not a bit of me. Not a bit of me. Some went to look at the um, sunset on Mount Eden and it was like the cloudiest no night. There was no sunset. There was no sunset. But, you know, bless them for trying. Bless them, yeah, they, they did try. They soak in the they atmosphere. They tried, they tried. But yeah, lots of fun stuff. Um, lots of food. Lo lots of food. We're just trying it all out. Just trying it all out, yeah. Hi, my name's Danny. When I go abroad, I always like to try the, the local cuisine. So I was wondering if there was anything you wanted to try whilst you was in New Zealand. Hi, Danny. Thanks for your question. Um, I was explaining to Bots that I believe she should try a hungi, which is a local New Zealand um, like the mouldy dish, you go to Marae and you dig a hole in the ground, you put some fire in there, wrap the food up, kind of like a, almost like roast kind of stuff, it like a bit of meat, potato, all that kind of stuff. Wrap it in the tin foil, chuck the foil back over the top. Yeah. Dig it up in about two days, you're good to go. That's it. It does. It sounds unbelievable. However, in Auckland, I'm unsure if there's going to be anywhere that we can dig a hole. Um, so, but we are going to. But I don't want to pronounce it wrong, so you go. Fangare, yeah. Um, we're going to Fangare. Yeah, that was good. good. We'll go with that. Um, in a week or so. So Amy said that there might be more chance of us getting one out there. So I will most certainly be having a look around for, for any local that can help me with that. <laughs> Just knocking on people's doors. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> can I dig a hole in your garden? <laughs> Thank you so much for all your questions. We'll be looking to answer a few more over the next couple of weeks whilst we're out here in New Zealand. This week has also seen the return of our England rugby podcast O2 Inside Line, where our head coach, Simon Middleton, has been explaining what makes him tick. Check it out. Ooh. Tasty one, that. That is tasty. The teaser's real good. The first time in sort of 25, 30 years nearly, I was out of a job completely. You know, from having two jobs to having no job. It was pretty scary. I probably felt a little bit sorry for myself for a couple of weeks, but then I was like, you need to get your act together here because you've got a family depending on you. And then you start delving into things and exploring different ways and challenging yourself differently and getting yourself really out of your comfort zone. You know, because you think you're going out of your comfort zone when you coach, but that's nothing compared to when you're out of work. One of the biggest things it taught me that period was don't panic, there's always going to be something. You're listening to the England Rugby Podcast, O2 Inside Line, I'm Simon Milton. 
Um, and you can listen to the full episode of Mids' podcast and special guest Stuart Lancaster wherever you happen to listen to your pods. Um, and you'll even get to know a little bit more about me on this series of podcasts along with Jess Breach, Rosie Galligan and Sadia Kabea. I don't know why I said it like that, but uh, yes, you'll get to listen about all of us in the next coming series. All right then, Hannah. <laughs> it's game it's time. Game time. We're going to be playing this across all the series, so hopefully we get all better the scores. What, and then it's going to be added up? So we've Is got to get good the... scores. And then oh, right. basically we're playing um, ring toss. Toss um, the ring. It's quite self-explanatory. Here's a ring. You're going to toss, toss it. it. It's, it's very You happy with the rules? It. What are the rules? You've got to get it on the thing and then All you right. get the points that the thing's yep. related to. Fine. Ready? No I'm cheating. going first. Yeah. Ready? Whatever. Oh! 50! <laughs> yes. Oh, five. five. Well done. I'll take that. <laughs> well done on your five. <laughs> Loser. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, and that's 30. Oh, 25, I'm oh, 75. It. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was bad. Oh, last go. Make it a good one. Oh. Oh, I'm on 75. You're on 25. I'm on 30. No, how are you? I want to play again. I think, that was, a, I think that was a dud round. That's yeah, a 20 five. and a 5. Is that only 20 on that? Yeah. Oh, Is it? Yeah, that one says, it? That says 20 there. Yeah. Oh, I think we should play again. No, because I, I win. Again. Yay. I'm not happy. Yay! I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy with it. Does <laughs> <laughs> it count though? I, I want to take it. You, no. get, you get another shot as well. No, I don't you want to. You get another I, shot. I already won. No, I already you get won. take another shot because no. I'm on 80 and you're on 75. Go on, take no. another shot. I already won. Amy, take another shot. I already Amy, won. Amy, take another shot. I already and won. And you get a rope one. Amy, take another shot. I already won. Amy, take another shot. It's not even round anymore. It doesn't matter. Six. Oh, I'm not happy. With this, I'm just throwing that out there. But it's equal, really. It's sixes. <laughs> Double oh, fifty. I'm going again. Oh, I've dropped all the props of the balls. I'm going it. again. You should have the right. Oh, wait, that's that. Oh. I've already won, but yeah, I know. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? I reckon you should you should do another five by yourself and see if you can just get all 50s and then no one's going to be able to beat you. I don't think I'm going to do it. Well, you've just done three in a row. Yeah, we'll count that as 150 and then all whatever right, I got you've before. You've just got real high. 25. What did I get? So 175. What are you on? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm, I'm out of this. All right, top score 175. <laughs> Ridiculous. Let's see if anyone can beat us. I don't mind the beating me. I hope no one else beats me, though. I'm, as long as I'm not bottom of the leaderboard, I don't really care. <sighs> I hate losing. So right before we go, you guys are going to see a preview of our recent documentary that's just gone out on ITV. Um, it's called Where the Rose, an England Rugby Dream, and it features both me and Amy, and obviously all the other 39 girls that were in pre-season. Um, but yeah, it's a great and documentary. Staff. Oh yeah, and the staff, staff feature. I don't really care about them. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so it features all of us, um, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. We are the number one team in the world. Every time we take the field, we want to be better. We set high standards for a reason because we know we can achieve them. We all want to bring that trophy home. For women's sport, it will be massive if we can achieve that. We can show Woo! young girls rugby. In a few years, could be you training. Yeah. We've got to go to depths that we've never been to before. We are the Red Roses. We are as one. Red Roses! So if you did miss that, make sure you head over to ITV Hub and watch it now. 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 Both episodes, not just one. Both. There's two. Two. Both great. Both of them. You'll cry more than once. You reckon? Loads of people have said they've cried. Yeah, it's fair. To be fair, it's quite emotional. Right, that's it for O2 Inside Line Live. Live. Not live, pre-recorded. Live, live, but live. Um, thanks for all of your support. We're really feeling it out here in New we're Zealand feeling. and we're really going to need it going forward these next few weeks. 
Um, and make sure, if you're not already, which I hope all of you are, that you're following England Rugby on all social channels, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, all of them. Make sure you're following them. Follow them. Follow them. Follow them now. Now. Do it now. Don't wait. Don't wait. Do now. it now. 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 Hmm. Now. Well, I think we're done. <laughs> Bye. Bye.